this is the main avenue. Jana Vala and this street right there is Valska. So you can see how far. And uh, the next avenue over is where the mall and the central train station is. So it's this is pretty very central right here. And so here is the Westin Hotel to give you an idea of where we are in relation to this Airbnb apartment. Now see these old communist block era buildings? Uh, that's the type of building that I'm in. So I guess it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, maybe it's like the projects for Poland or something like that. They look like they're from the 70s and inside you know some of the ones that aren't fixed up which i imagine probably is a lot of them look almost like uh like cells from from old prison videos like alcatraz or something like that you'll see the doors i'm talking about so the westin by the way i looked it up it's only like 85 dollars a night um, which I thought was pretty cheap. I, I was expecting something like that to be like 200, 250. Uh, also, the Ibis, which is right over here, looks really new, is also around $85. And the Hilton, which is a, about a block away from this intersection, is only like $92. I, I looked it up for, say, the next week from, from now. And it's, I was expecting it to be a lot more. There's the Hilton up there. So, yeah, so there's three big hotels right over here. And this is my Airbnb building right here. So you see it's the same kind of old communist era concrete block building. Looks really bummy on the outside. Uh, not that it's that great on the inside either, but it's very convenient. You see right here, there's a lot of construction and you got these bikes right here that are right on the corner and easy to rent, really cheap. You use your app to rent it through the barcode and uh, it even sends you a message after you correctly return the bike so right from here I'm just right across the street basically and like i said a block away from the west end and the ibis and right now it's around rush hour um, i haven't seen this many cars since i've been here Usually the street is pretty empty. Uh, also, surprisingly, there's actually a Korean restaurant connected to this building here. Right on the corner, it's Korean street food or something like that. I haven't tried it, but uh, a friend of mine, I told him about it, and he looked it up and said it got pretty good reviews. And, recommend that I go check it out don't know if I'm gonna do that but uh, I don't know maybe I will who knows I don't know how good Korean food is out in, in Warsaw but might be worth checking out there's always people there that's for sure so this is my group. I always have a hard time getting this door open so I'm pushing the wrong way or 70s they've been doing some construction here uh, so it goes up to 15 floors and obviously this elevator is really new um, so 
so maybe they're updating these buildings a little at a time or it's a slow process or something I'm not really sure but definitely uh, newer elevators in here and some newer doors and things and it looks like they've been doing construction over here too so matter of fact these guys are doing some kind of work so here's the doors I'm talking about look like some prison cells or something. But uh, my door's a lot newer. So, hello. So this one is similar to the one in Krakow in that it cost me a little more than 30 bucks a night. I think for I'm only here for six nights instead of seven like Krakow. Um, and so six nights is about 205, 210. So it's like $35 a night or something like that. Um, kitchen is really small. Um, but you know it works kind of uh, some of these burners don't work very well um, the people that run this place didn't prepare it that great uh, the, there was no cooking oil there's no napkins things like that just like not really thought out that well um, here's the bathroom bathrooms a good size I mean everything works weird thing is these laundry hookups and these pipes the way they are. I don't know, maybe this bathroom was put in afterwards or something, uh, who knows. Uh, but it has a washing machine, which is good, which I haven't tried yet, but I'm gonna. And this is the living room. There's a little, there's no real Wi-Fi. There's that little Wi-Fi hotspot, which works actually pretty well. I'm kind of surprised. I thought it was gonna be pretty bad, but uh, I haven't had any problems with uh, speeds on the internet or anything like that. This is kind of what you call the bedroom. Um, again, the windows are newer, so that's good. Um, TV's not really new. <laughs> and not really a balcony, but somewhat. You can open the door and look around. And you see there's a couple more of these old concrete buildings here. And you can see the Weston from here. You can see this girl walking her dog down there or something. So this is pretty much the apartment. And I'll just show you where this is in relation to Warsaw. are here, Zelazna, and the Warsaw Central train station is here, which is right next to uh, a big mall called, what's it called, Zlody Terrasi or something like that. It's a really big new mall right next to the Central train station. So if you do a Google search on how to get there walking, it's a uh, 1.6 kilometers which is just just under one mile so it's, it's not far at all and like I said you got these bikes over here which are really great um, Uber's super cheap I mean I've been taking Uber uh, on the weekend to uh, the street with the bars and whatever and that was about 1.2 miles and it cost like 10 zloty which is like two dollars and seventy cents so it's it's real cheap uh, so again this location is central it's not you know it's not the Westin it's not the Hilton obviously or the Ibis but it's also not 85 or 100 dollars a night it's 35 or so and so if you're just here for a few days and don't want to spend a lot but want to be in a central location not a bad spot uh, I see there's other places 
in this building listed online and things like that. Some look a little nicer, so check it out. But Zalazna is the, is the avenue here that we're on. So uh, if you're looking for an Airbnb rental, check it out. And uh, that's pretty much it for Warsaw. Um, stay tuned for more videos soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.